Good afternoon, St. Mary's and beyond. I'm Darby Everhard, and I'm here with an update about all the things that are happening at St. Mary's on this very special weekend. We are in the midst of Holy Week, and today as is Monday Thursday, and we enter the three sacred days or the Triduum of Holy Week, today and Good Friday and Holy Saturday. Today's service is at 7 p.m., it's a service of Holy Eucharist, and we remember that Jesus spent the night at supper with his friends. He instituted the sacrament of his body and blood, and he washed the disciples' feet. He told us that we were to love one another and serve one another as he loves and serves us. If you are here in person, we welcome you. If you are joining us online. We welcome you also, and you'll find us live stream at 7 p.m. on our St. Mary's YouTube channel. Tomorrow on Good Friday, we observe the day with our Good Friday Liturgy and the Veneration of the Cross, and we will have wonderful music all throughout our days ahead. And that liturgy is at noon, and if you haven't, if you're not coming in person, you can again find us in a live stream on St. Mary's YouTube channel. And you know that you can always watch these whenever you want to after they, they have um, been put up there on YouTube. Holy Saturday, we sit in quiet and wait for the Resurrection Day, which is Sunday, Easter Day, the day of the resurrection of Jesus. We will have three services that day. We are able to have more in-person um, worship than, let's put it this way, more people at our in-person worship than we have had before. And so there are plenty of spots available at our three services. And I invite you to join um, the in-person if you're comfortable. We practice um, wearing masks and distancing and we have fairly safe protocols. Um, and we are guided, of course, by our diocese for that. And our service is at 9 of Holy Eucharist in the CLC. We have an 11 a.m. service in the nave of Holy Eucharist. And then at 3 p.m., we have an outdoor service of Holy Eucharist in the lower parking lot of the CLC. And if you'd like to sing Jesus Christ is Risen today, that's the service to come and sing at we will wear masks and be distanced and sing, and we can sing all the hymns and all the liturgy that we want to um, outside. And so we are very grateful for that. So if that singing is your thing, the choir will be all together singing with us. It'll be great. It'll be awesome, right? So I invite you also, that one will, the one that will be live streamed on Easter Day is the 11 o'clock service. Um, it's a sung liturgy and again beautiful music and we are very grateful for our team Gus will be celebrating I'll be preaching Larry will be our deacon we have our wonderful choir and choristers and Charles and our musicians at 9 a.m. and they're headed up by Robin who's also our video engineer and we couldn't do all this without everybody and I would like to thank the Altar Guild and the Flower Guild, who worked very much behind the scenes, very hard through Lent and now Holy Week and Easter um, to make our spaces beautiful and to help us get ready to, to do those services together. And again, we couldn't do it without their help. And Mary Beth Yates will tell you, and also Paul Sisoloff, that there are a lot of props for Holy Week. Um, so Holy Week and Easter, so we are grateful for that. The other thing is that we have our new parish administrator. It's first day today. Um, Denise Story it has begun with us at St. Mary's, and we're very excited to have her. Um, Denise's bio and picture, I think we're in last week's flock note. Um, we welcome her here. She's an Episcopalian. Her church is St. Mary's of the Hills in Blowing Rock, but she lives in the Greensboro area. So she sings in the choir up there, and they've also just opened up for in-person worship and having some choristers back. So she's very excited to be with us and looking forward to putting her administrative skills to use for the Episcopal Church at St. Mary's. 
So we welcome Denise. So as you enter the stories tonight and tomorrow and on Sunday, see yourself in the stories, the stories of, of hope in the darkness, of resurrection, um, of Jesus's um, ultimate love for us, uh, and God's all ultimate unconditional love for us, giving God's only son for us, who died for all of us so that we might have eternal life. Remember in the stories, your own, your own stories, and know that, that you are part of this larger story in which God is putting all things together again, restoring everything and healing all of creation. And we proclaim that each and every day we proclaim resurrection. So I invite you into that resurrection story, resurrection people. We are Easter people. So keep the faith, keep your mask on, keep your distance, and many blessings to you and your families and your loved ones during this holy Eastertide season.